four, and I believe that Kift picked. Um, yes, indeed, Kift did pick Scrap Station. Sorry if you saw how many games there were, uh, so you know what happened when, and um, that'll, that's a little bit of bad news. Um, but anyway, um, I'm going to be going right into the second game on Scrap Station. Once again, I'm spawning in as the Blue Terran in the top position, and Kift is spawning in as the Orange Protoss in the right position, and I don't know why I'm s trying to speak like I'm French. I was thinking about Little Toe and how he's actually watching this game right now somewhere at some time. Probably not, but I can dream and hope. So anyway, uh, Kift picked this map, and I was at the time, a little freaked out by it because I was like, well, I've just had long conversations about how Kift as a Protoss player hates this wide ramp versus Terran because Ghost Marine pushes are so hard to block. Um, and then he picked the map, so I was like, he's gonna, you know, double um, gate me, like here or something, or like up on this high ground here. So I sent out a probe or a scout at 8 just to check up on what he was doing and lo and behold he did not do that so then my next thought was he is going to uh, void raid me so I was like make sure you don't build any any buildings like outside of this hex because when you're getting void raid by a toss and you go a build like marine ghost you're really good against the 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 uh, void rays except when um, you build buildings out here like an idiot and then they can hit them and range you uh, from that that cliff and they can completely negate the uses of stim whereas if your buildings are all in here they have to come into like this range to hit him and then you can stim out here and take them out before they get out of range so uh, that's just a nice little tip if you play Terran you have trouble with void rays make sure um, the maps that have um, close cliffs and this would actually be a map that has a pretty distant cliff there are some really bad maps like Zelnaga Caverns so you can see the um, the little manor gas steel going down from Kift. Uh, it's going to not really hi hinder my build all that much, although I'm not really sure what build he's going with, because usually you don't want to steal gas based on your opponent's build. You want to steal it based on your build. Um, because your build is weak against the things that, you know, say are two, two gas builds. Like, say, if I was... I'm not sure exactly what he's doing, but let's say he's four-gating, and... Um, and he doesn't want me to two gas because if I two gas and get a siege tank out with with siege tech and then wall in, his four gate's going to be kind of weak against that. And I really don't know if that's the case or not because I have not really gone siege tanks ever in any game because they're horrible, horrible creatures of doom. I don't like siege tanks. Um, I'm horrible with them and uh, I'm horrible against them and they altogether hate me. Uh, but anyway, Kif's going to be saving up some of his Chrono Boosts. I don't know, when I play Protoss, I tend to just throw it all down on my minerals, or my, uh, you know, probes. Um, but he is the refined Protoss player, and he knows what he is doing. Although, if he drops it on these uh, Warp Gate research, I would be excited. Um, in fact, he's not. He's actually cutting probes right now. He's cutting probes. So he is, once again... I repeat, he is cutting probes. I don't really know. There's one right there. Okay. So throwing down the ba the bunker again. I pretty much have the same opening build against um, a uh, a Protoss player. Um, I have another build that I do that I think we might see in a coming up an upcoming game. Spoiler alert. Um, but uh, pretty much all of my builds involve getting two Marines and then a Tech Lab. Um, because two Marines way better than one Marine. Not so good as three, but, um, you know, still very effective. Uh, and I like it for the timing. It allows you to get the first research up pretty fast. Although, I, you know, I've been doing the combat shield first um, when I go as he Marine Heavy build to start. Just because I'm tempted to, st to stim a lot more than I should be. Uh, and look at this great timing on this pylon going down. Kif's just opening this two-gate build again, and uh, he's going to be mining. Uh, pretty strongly, although he ha has missed a few uh, worker things. It'll be interesting to see the worker count. Yeah, he's up three, which is about right. I've, I've seen him drop about three uh, uh, things down, uh, three Chrono Boost down, which will actually, you know, make your workers come out two instead of one or so. It's about like that. I think it might be a little better because workers take only like 17 seconds to build. So uh, Kiss can be moving up here with uh, 
one zealot and three stalkers. Kind of scary. He's he's actually done a good job of testing the entrance like at different points in both games. The first time he tested it with just like two stalkers and a zealot. Now he's going in with four stalkers and a zealot. Well, it was three earlier. Um, it's always good to try different timings like that, and I really like that. I am getting better and better with scans every day. Throwing down the scan right as I see the double warp gate going down. And uh, and by double warp gate, I mean third and fourth warp gate going down at the same time. And so Kip's going to be reinforcing here. He's going to be going a pretty strong uh, four gate build on me. And it's going to be especially effective because of this ramp. And I realized why um, he went this build afterwards is because uh, it's a lot easier to get zealots up this ramp. I actually just realized that right now it makes perfect sense why he would like this map for this kind of build. Um, it's a very aggressive build. You're not so worried about um, getting pushed early because you're going to be the one doing the pushing. So that ramp works in your favor. <coughs> if I were to do this map again against Protoss, I might actually, if I, you know, having scanned this right here, I might actually, yeah, that's actually not a barracks. That is a robo facility. I am a, a warp gate. That is complete failure on my part. So anyway, I'm um, going to be moving up here with a fairly large number of... Uh, forces. I think he's probably going to be waiting for that sentry shield. And I just, I, why did I do that? I was about to move out and I just canceled that thing. And I don't have stim out yet. And because of that, this is going to be a completely different force. The, uh, I don't know, these forces up front are, I'm actually holding this relatively well. So, um, there's one point for Marine Marauder, or Marine, Marine Ghost, against uh, this army, even without uh, having stim done. Stim is done now. I need to be stimming. I need to be stimming. There's the stim. Uh, the thing with stalkers is they're almost faster than Marines, or almost as fast as Marines, with uh, stim. And so he can just walk away, and that's just damage that he's done to me. Don't really know why I'm doing this right here. I'm really shouldn't be doing this. Need to be more aware because he's going to get a free kill off on this ghost or something. Oh, come on. That was a bad EMP. Really need to be sniping in this situation because I can snipe and take out all these zealots. And this stim's going to go down. I'm going to be able to get both of these zealots, but uh, still a nice little back and forth. Um, it was kind of stupid of me to try to go for this rocks. There's no way I was going to be able to do that. Now he's just got all stalkers. I'm going to try and transition to a few marauders, but uh, really not going to be all that effective. I need to throw down some barracks, but I just, I mean some bunkers. I really need that one bunker that I had. And unfortunately, I'm just barely going to gonna not uh, have the forces to deal with this. Really needed that marine in that fight. If I had had that marine, I might have been able to hold this. Uh, just now starting the units, and they're, I don't think they're just going to be trickling in a little too slow. Uh... Mass stalkers work so effectively. Should have pulled pro probes earlier to save those, um, but unfortunately, I also don't need to be pulling a mule. They don't actually fight, so they're much better served staying and working on the the minerals. And with this um, with the little SCV push, I might be able to do some kind of damage. But um, with his his strong force here, I'm pretty much out of it. Finally got the surround on that immortal, but there's just too many forces. And he's warping in from those three uh, warp gates very effectively. Uh, people, I mean, this is something as I GG out of this. People think that you, in order to push hard with Protoss early, you have to four warp gate. I mean, he three gated and built a robo, but only really got one immortal into the battle. And all it really did was die. So you, when you think about that, it actually shows that it's not so much the units like the mass number of units you get it's how you use them. You use them really effectively. You saw that he he, he ran and and uh, got his stalkers out only losing one when I stimmed um, uh, early in that first fight and it really helped him uh, maintain you know his stalker count so that was really good. We're gonna go into the third game uh, right after this.